try this again. I just made a whole video and I made it four seconds too long and so I have to do it all over again. Lucky you. So this is going to be a little bit more edited I think. Anyway, so last week I don't even know if I said I put the wrong date on my video that it wasn't week 14 last week. This week is week 14. Last week was week 13, month 3. Hopefully you all are confused. Uh, so let me do the weights and stats. Uh, on the running, I did a, an 11-11 pace this week, which I'm very pleased with. And then on the weight loss, dun, 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 is that the right way around? Yes. I'm an apple. As you can see, I have the L. I made it into the 150s. Literally this morning, I woke up, I was 151. The scale never moved. It kept on going 153, uh, 151, 163, 162, 161, 163, 160. It was driving me crazy. Woke up and then I had no, it wasn't this morning, like two days ago it said 158.8 and I was like, is that saying? And I got on again and then it went back up and this morning I got on and got off and got on and got off and it still was 158.6 and I was like, we're in. Which means I am down 3.8 pounds since last week, but if you remember I was up the week before, so I think I net out um, down like two pounds or something. Either way, I'm on track with the weight loss chart that I have from my doctor of what I need to, what what I exactly need to lose every week. I don't think I've told you about the spreadsheet I made. I should someday. Anyway, um, so I'm I'm thrilled. Although I'm also kind of bummed. I mean, it's been frustrating as all get out for the last couple of weeks with the scale, and it really bothers me because. I know I'm not supposed to be obsessed with what the number is on the scale. I really do. But the reality is, is we wouldn't have done the surgery if we weren't a little obsessed with the number on the scale and how we felt. But I also feel pretty good right now and I feel stronger and I feel fitter and I'm wearing a size 8 pant. Um, it, it doesn't all add up. I should be way more excited about the size 8 than the number on the scale, but it does frustrate me. I, I don't know how to deal with that, but I'll keep working on it. It's a mental journey that we're all on. Um, okay, so I want to talk to you about food a little bit um, and what I'm eating. I, if you remember, had those Siggy yogurts that I was obsessed with. Shocker, I'm now completely anti-eggs because I just can't handle eating anymore and I'm anti the Siggy yogurt. However, this is my new best friend. Um, and weirdly, only the peach flavor, none of the other flavors seemed good to me. And I went out and bought 10 at Whole Foods today, and she was like, really, 10 peach? And I'm like, yep. Um, they're a little lower in protein, there's only 14 grams in a container. Um, but that's still pretty good. It's still the Greek yogurt type. And also, I'm going to bring this up in a sec, um, having a really hard time with red meat. I can't seem to eat it without getting indigestion. Um, I can have like a bite or two, but not really a meal, and I've just kind of gone off chicken altogether, and so really I've been eating seafood, let me go back there again, a ton. Um, I get these Longestine uh, from Trader Joe's, which are all pre-cooked and delicious. There's like 70 calories in a 3 ounce um, portion and 16 grams of protein, and obviously no carbohydrates because they're fish or shellfish, I should say, and I'm a little sick of fish, so I also started eating uh, the Morning Star veggie patties, and these ones specifically, and you have to look at the nutritional information on them, because not all of them are fantastic, but these are the tomato basil um, patties, and it's a little like eating a little pizza. It's delicious, um, but specifically, there's 120 calories in a patty. You can throw them in the microwave. They're super easy. Six grams of fat. Um, Lots of potassium, who knew? Only seven grams of carbohydrates, three of them are fiber if you're doing the net carbs thing, and 10 grams of protein, um, which isn't bad for one of these. Um, a nice savory thing to have different, um, have different, listen to my English, that's terrible. Uh, I, I still eat a little too much cheese, I think. Um, I need to work on that. And I've been loving being able to eat vegetables again. It just makes me happy. I just now need to chop them up. Um, does anyone else have problems with the meat? Maybe I just can't handle it. I don't know. It's all good. Uh, fitness. 
So I noticed when I was looking at my videos the other day that almost, while a significant portion of them I'm in some sort of workout gear, I do actually have a real office job and do actually wear things that are not spandex. Um, but you always catch me at the end of the day when I've done working out. And I actually just came home from taking a TRX class. And if you Google TRX or just YouTube video TRX, you'll see that it's this, it's um, total resistant, resistance exercise is what it, TRX stands for. But there's these straps that hang from the ceiling, which are a little unbalanced. And you do a lot of pulling and balancing and well, a lot of pulling and balancing on them. Really good for the upper body and stabilizing really hard on the core. Like it hurts. Last week when I took the classes, it, it, like, it hurt to laugh. And I laugh quite a lot. It was really hard. It's, it's a really hard class. But what's great about it is it is kind of made for everybody because you can be super hardcore. There was a woman in the class today who was ripped, who was taking it. And she was angled like this practically flat. I was angled about here doing my little pull and push and all of that sort of stuff. And you, you balance it for where you are. Um, but I really love that it's upper body strength, which I'm, cause I'm not very strong. My legs are fine and really maintaining the core because for those of you that are starting exercise, having a strong core, having a strong back is really important. It stops, which well, doesn't stop, but it helps prevent injury. Um, but the other big thing that it does is it helps with balance which is not about that the rest of you guys, but I do a lot of falling. My ankles are super weak from being overweight for a really long time and falling down. And so it's great to get some balance in there. So I'm doing that now instead of weight training, um, building up my muscles and I'm gonna hurt tomorrow. Um, on the running, I uh, had a great week. I've done a lot of running this week. And as you heard, 11-11 is pretty good on the pace. So I'm pleased about that. It's now about breaking into the tens on the speed. I did a 12 mile run on Saturday. I actually ran through Golden Gate Park and the Presidio over the Golden Gate Bridge to Sausalito, which was lovely. Um, actually, I don't really like running the Golden Gate Bridge. Too many people. If I could figure out a way for them to clear a little running path, it would be good. Does that sound bad? It does. Anyway, had a really great run because I was, it was my last training run. I'm doing the San Francisco Marathon this weekend. I'm only doing the half marathon, but I am running the 13.1 miles um, on Sunday morning with, I don't know, 10,000 other people, something like that. Have no idea, but it'll be super fun. I'm also toying with the idea of running a half marathon a month um, in 2011, but I may even start now. I'm doing the Santa Rosa half next month I haven't picked anything for August. It might be Chicago. It might be one here. Uh, and then in October, I'm heading to South France to run half marathon there. How civilized is that? Um, I still need to pick one out for November, but December I'm heading, and I think I talked about this before, to Las Vegas to run the rock and roll half marathon in Las Vegas. And again, if anyone wants to join us, let me know. Just shoot me a note and I will give you all the details. It's super fun. You run up and down the strip and then you go play and have spa activities and all of that good sort of stuff. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, a goal setting. So I talked about the half marathon a month. Um, a lot of you, uh, unless you've read my blog, which I'll put a link into it, you won't know that I gave up TV this year until I hit my weight loss goals. And one of my weight loss goals was to weigh less than my husband who is six foot tall and weighs maybe a buck 50. It's annoying. Um, so I'm getting close to that. And so I haven't had a TV all year. Although shout out to Cindy. Thank you very much for setting up the rules. I'm allowed to watch TV at other people's houses or when I'm on the road. And as you know, I'm on the road quite a bit. So it's not like I've been completely derived, deprived of television, but I'm not allowed to watch it. Um, and we don't have one in the house, literally no TV. So as soon as I weigh less than my husband, I will be getting a television. So that is going to be the big goal for this month. I'm very excited. Get me some reality TV back. Um, so that's all I wanted to... Ooh, see, and there's a thing telling me I should shut up. That's all I wanted to talk about this week. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful one. And I will let you know how the San Francisco Marathon goes. I may even take my little flip camera along with me and take some video for you guys. Um, I hope you have a good one. Take care of yourselves and don't obsess about the scale. <laughs>